What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? The date is January 19th, 2024, and we are doing the calm before the storm. Could be one of our bigger storms of the season. Actually, I'm going to say for certain it is going to be one of our biggest storms of the season. It looks like, uh, looks like, uh, it's going to start late tonight, overnight, maybe two, three, four in the morning. So of course I'll be out there recording the first snowflakes and then recording the storm as it picks up. Alright. So we're in Moon Ridge right now. It's going to be a little bit shorter than usual calm before the storm. But yeah guys, so As I said, it is going to start snowing a little bit after midnight tonight. Not much accumulation. And then tomorrow during during the morning part of the day, it's going to be a little bit on and off. But in the afternoon is when it's going to start to pick up a bit. And then in the evening time, we could accumulate one to three inches in the evening. And then Sunday during the day, we should get some snow showers throughout the morning won't accumulate to much more than an inch and then Sunday night the same thing some scattered snow showers nothing more than an inch if we're lucky and then Monday we've got one inch of snow expected during the morning hours high temperature is going to be about 40 in the evening time we could get another inch so again it, it's not going to be that much snow and it could linger into very early Tuesday morning if we're lucky and since it is three days worth of on and off snow that's a great thing and there's a possibility we could uh, get more than what I just stated but I think best case scenario we'll get like if everything happens the way that I want it to we could get about four inches of snow I'm personally guessing maybe an inch and a half to two inches of snow is what we'll get which will still be our second largest storm of the season, which isn't isn't saying much as usual. But it is what it is, guys. It's been that type of a season. We still have another two thirds of winter remaining. So we got plenty of time. And don't forget last year, guys, our massive storms didn't happen until a few weeks from now, so. Let's uh, keep keep the positivity level up. Anyway, I am I am super exhausted, but definitely looking forward to doing this. Definitely looking forward to this. So we're gonna take a drive alongside Bear Snow Summit right now. It's still just too much traffic. I don't want to deal with the traffic people. I don't want to get in their way. So we're on a street called Lassen right now, L-A-S-S-E-N. And this goes right up alongside Bear. You can see Bear straight ahead. Let me roll down my window a little bit. It just looks so beautiful. I wish we, I wish we had a lot more going on up here right now. so beautiful and again I love seeing people having a good time up here I can never stress to you guys enough how much of a wonderful time I had as a kid up here and it was back when my whole family got along so well I really miss those days I really miss those days a lot
wish our temperatures were going to be getting a lot colder for this storm so they could be making a lot of snow while we're getting snow. But unfortunately, guys, it's, it's, it's going to be right on the rain snow line for the most part. squirrel watch out little buddy watch out little buddy Just hit me up whenever, my bro. You're my homeboy. Just hit me up whenever, okay? Whatever I can do to help, I'm here. I'm telling you, there are some really, really amazing people up here. Some really, really amazing people. All right, we're coming up to the front of Bear. My favorite resort in this whole town, but I haven't been skiing here yet this season. I've been to Summit twice. Thanks, guys. What's up, brother? What's up, man? I love you. Well, hey, thanks, man. <laughs> How you doing, man? Take care, guys. Keep doing what you're doing. You're the best. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. I really appreciate that. What's your name? David. David. Yes, sir. Can I put you on to say hi real quick? Of course, absolutely. Guys, this is David. How's it going? <laughs> dude, dude, thanks for saying hi, bro. No problem. I appreciate that, thanks man. For having me. Yeah, dude, absolutely, bro. Drive safe. You too, man. You too. Or, well, be safe. <laughs> Later, brother. Later. That is so cool, guys. That is so cool. He's seen the channel before. Seriously, when I get respect from people who live up here and who work up here, that feels incredible. Like, that feels absolutely incredible. <laughs> Seriously. That like makes my day so great right there. So cool. And I know it's a little bit late in the video to be talking about it, but check out some of our great long sleeve shirts here. Boom shakalaka. We've got a few different colors. I've got a blue one also. It's such a beautiful blue color too. I'll wear that for once it starts snowing. And I'll tell you what, I'm so addicted to my new hoodies. I mean, it, I, I promise you, it's not just because it's Big Bear weather and more hoodies. I'm telling you, these are, these things are are so soft and so warm. It's it's one of the company champions best products. Like it's it's a wonderful wonderful product. As I told you guys, I'm not gonna skimp on the quality. I want us to have some, some really good stuff on there on here. Man, that was so cool. That was so cool. All right, I can't wait till the golf course is open. Yeah, buddy. As a matter of fact, a, a friend of mine, he's a retired engineer. In, in two weeks, he, he, he wants to take me down to this private golf course to go play and last season I only played twice all season so I'm really looking forward to a chance to getting off the mountain for a couple minutes and going down and playing a private course I don't know if it's him who's the member and I don't know what the name of the course is but I think it might be one of his closest friends who's going to get us on and I just love it I'm a lot better golfer than I am skier, let me tell you that. Seriously, 
guys meeting that dude, David, I believe was his name at, uh, he was the parking attendant. Just, I mean, seriously, that just made my day. Sometimes I don't know if they're being, you know, sarcastic or if they're, if they're actually being really loving. And 99% of the time, if not more, they are being honest and kind and super loving towards me. Because I always worry that people are going to think I'm just a total dork. But you guys have told me that I'm not. That, that means a lot to me. So, like, I wouldn't have even heard about this if it wasn't for a friend of mine, Eric. So, I'm at the grocery store yesterday, walking out of the store back to my car, and a friend of mine sees me, and he comes up to me in tears. And he has said, dude, I, I, need, a, I need a big hug. <clears throat> so, Eric, God bless him. He's a homeless dude, right? But I, you know, I, I absolutely love him. I've known him since I first moved up here. He's always been homeless up here. Um, he was in the village a couple nights ago, like uh, outside of some sort of a bar or something like, like that. And he was telling me a couple people came outside the bar right in front of him and started arguing. And, um, and uh, they were friends. They were really, really, really loaded but they were friends and it was an argument about the football game and one of the guys pulled out some heat and you know bang bang the other guy right in front of my friend Eric right here in the village and uh yeah he was completely distraught and I feel so so bad for him that he had to witness something like that but yeah, that actually, actually happened. I went home after that. I looked up everything on the uh, local police blotter. And sure enough, right in the village. And that just breaks my heart that that would happen up here. But my, my poor buddy was just absolutely just devastated. He says every time he closes his eyes, he, that's all he can see. That's all he can see. And because... He's homeless when he reported it to the police. They didn't believe him and he said that they hogtied him um, in, in a field or something like that. And then when he ended up going to the hospital, um, that's when everyone found out that it actually did happen. That that bang bang situation in the village did happen. And apparently, Eric told me that the doctor said he's gonna file a complaint against against the uh, police and stuff because of how they treated Eric. And you know what? I, our, our cops up here are super, super good, good, good cops. Like um, amazing people. So I, I don't know what happened. You know, um, I know Eric has a little bit of a reputation. So maybe they obviously didn't believe him or something like that, but it's just sad, guys. These are some of the things that you'll just never hear about, like on the news or anything like that for our little tourist town. We're, we're just like most other places, guys. I mean, but we hide a lot more. But keep in mind, these things happen everywhere. It's not frequent that that happens here, guys, but it does happen, and it does happen everywhere. Most towns that try to maintain a good reputation try to brush that stuff under the rug 
especially because we're a tourism town. So, you know, they don't want folks to be scared. And we need you guys coming up here. As I said, these were two close friends, I guess, who got in a huge argument about the football game, and one of them pulled out a weapon, and then bang. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. I hope I didn't bring anyone down by that story, but I mean, it, it's 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 been on my mind. It's been on my mind. I don't know what the outcome was, though. If everyone survived or not. But yeah. Thanks for listening, guys. Sometimes I need to vent about things too. You guys are my friends. You guys allow me to. Uh, speak freely and just be myself so thank you of course we're going to do a quick little stroll through the village the villaggio i don't know how many inches of snow do you guys think we'll get how many inches do you think we'll get I think we're gonna get about two inches of snow. I sure hope I'm undercutting it. I really do. But I just think that's gonna be reality. Say hello to my little friend. Yep, yep, you say hello to my little friend, buddy. Yeah, we're gonna be out here again at like Three, three in the morning, you guys. Doing what we do, catching the first snowflake of the storm. And then as always, once it starts to really pick up after that, then I go back out, try to drive most of the valley. And uh, yeah, just keep you guys as updated visually as possible. I try to stay usually on most of the main routes most of the time, just so you guys can see what you're used to driving on. It'll give you a really good idea whether you uh, want to take the risk to come up here or not. Always bring your tire chains no matter what, you guys. Always, always, always. And hey, if you guys want a good, uh, a great deal up here, Sessions Retreat and hotel I'm telling you right now the owner Frank is so cool he was telling me that he's gonna give me a discount code for the video that I upload about his hotel so all of you can can save a nice chunk already on a really like a uh, great priced hotel he's he's got probably the best hotel for the price up here by far he takes care of the tourists big time I love that I love that once again, it's called Sessions Retreat and Hotel. I don't have that discount code yet. I'm gonna get it once I post his hotel video that I already did. But we can't do that till after this next storm. If there's a few days in between storms, then I can post it. But I just wanna make sure that you guys get always hooked up, always taken care of, and it's a great location. It's maybe a five, five minute walk, 10 minute walk at best. To the village um, you're right in right in between the village and snow summit the lakes basically just a couple blocks away you've got 7-eleven to get your snacks right across the street also that's basically the only place that's open all day and all night it's a great great spot and again he, he hooks it up. He hooks it up. I mean, he's way less expensive compared to basically everything else up here of, of similar caliber. And it's got a great atmosphere. Really comfortable place. And again, the staff is just awesome. Ownership is awesome. 
and the people who take care of the tourists and love on you guys and, and realize that you guys are why this town exists. Those are the people that I'm really inclined to help in a big way. turn on Edgemore and take the rest of the way back down by the lake and down by some of these beautiful homes. No, oh, that's not Edgemore, that's a parking lot. Pay attention, Nikki. My beautiful wife is visiting our grandkids right now. She's been gone a couple nights. I think she gets home either today or tomorrow. Yeah, this time of year, guys, she's extremely, extremely busy. As I said, she she runs an Airbnb cleaning company. So she's so busy this time of year, especially because she's so good at what she does. And she's super, super quick too never cuts any corners I mean works her absolute tail off she's she, she really knows how to clean these houses thoroughly and efficiently in the in a, sh a short amount of time I've never ever heard anyone have any complaint the only time I've ever heard of any complaint was when my wife hired people to help and then explain to them what needs to be done and then uh they said it was done that way, but then the owners call and say, hey, why wasn't this done or like something? And my wife being as humble as, as she is takes full responsibility because technically it is her fault because you know, she's the one who's hiring these folks that aren't doing, doing the job right. She does have one friend who, who does a, a great job. She and her boyfriend do a great job, but my poor wife, she's had so many issues trying to find proper help and she, and she pays these people well too I mean I mean she really really pays them well but any of you guys need she actually cleans an Airbnb inside this beautiful complex in there it's so that house that she cleans there is, is, is just gorgeous just absolutely gorgeous but if any of you uh, need someone reliable who will do the job right the first time and uh, never ever ever late works her butt off if any of you for your airbnb properties need someone you know hit us up she's pretty pretty maxed out for the most part but if it's if it's if it's one of you guys i'm sure she would she'd be happy to find time to help you out on a regular basis, you know, help you get those places turned around. All right, so we're staying on Lakeview right now, even though we're turning right, we're staying on Lakeview. And now all these properties to the left are right on the lake. This would be a dream of mine to have a property. So that big open space, you guys, that big, huge lot, or I don't know if it's two lots next to each other, but that's one of the most beautiful spots in all this town. And I've always wondered why it stays, stays empty. Why no one's, at least I'm assuming no one's bought the lot yet because there's, 
been nothing there for basically, I think, the whole time that I've lived here. But that is something I would love, you guys. these lake views that we're turning on. And for those of you who want more of like the Airbnb experience, don't forget that we have a really good friend of the channel. His name's Jay. He's he's kind enough that he does giveaways so you guys can stay at his Airbnb. But also, if you contact him because you want to stay there anyway, he will take care of you big time. He's a good dude. So we've got that option too. And his, his Airbnb, you guys, is right next to Bear Mountain. It's just such a perfect location. You get a good amount of snow where his house is. So if anybody does want to stay in a reliable, trustworthy, good spot while you're up here, knowing that it's associated with this channel, then yeah, let me know. I would, I would definitely like to refer you guys over to Jay get you guys set up as I said it, as long as you mention the channel then he'll know that you're you're part of the channel he's gonna give you a great discount back on the boulevard so yeah guys that was just kind of a short calm before the storm you can see that there's just no snow anywhere really the closer you get to the mountains over here you are gonna run into a little bit more snow but it's 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 really nothing there's really nothing special not yet at least As I said, it's, it's gonna start maybe two or three in the morning, which means that the video will be uploaded probably around four or 4.30. But that's how, that's how long it takes. Even with my one gig internet and my MacBook Pro, everything to be as fast as we can to get these videos uploaded, it still takes a little while, especially because I don't do just five minute videos, you know? I give you the full experience. Friday, it's not nearly as much traffic as I anticipated, so I'm loving that. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. But yeah, guys, thanks for cruising. If I seem a little different, it's because I'm just really tired right now. Um, and these doing these videos gives me more energy. Like, I was a lot more tired before I started recording. So, But I love you guys. Thanks again for everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing and trying to do for everyone. Also go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to get your Big Bear Weather and More merchandise. We, we have a lot of great stuff there, guys. You should at least just go check it out anyway just to see what we got. And uh, 
yeah, also don't forget on, on that website, you can also get the Ski Warrior goggles as well. Um, the code is updated, so I, I need to update your discount code on that website. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Once again, like, subscribe, help me out. I'd appreciate it and get ready for the snow. Love you guys a lot. Take care of yourselves and uh, have a fantastic weekend. I love you all.